So, what is a network? By definition, a network is a group or two more computer systems connected together or linked together. But uh, to, as you see in this picture, you know, like we have two computers, they are connected between each other, you have a network, small network. But to be blunt with you, a network um, is made out of a bunch of devices uh, which are interconnected between each other and some devices they are requiring information some other devices they are providing the information which is required and other devices they are carrying the information in CCNA, CCMP, um, networking certifications uh, you learn pretty much how that information is carried um, the most important component um, of a network um, are hosts and network devices. The hosts, uh, you might be familiar with some of them. They are like your PCs, your laptop, your um, phones, your smartphones, your tablets, your servers if you have any and over here we can see the representation in uh, on the logical diagrams Pre pretty much this is how they look like on a network diagram and this is how they look in the uh, real world however our focus won't be on uh, computers on uh, phones or on smartphones and so on it will gonna be on these ones we're going to be on network devices over here we uh, you see some names like uh, the hubs bridges switches and access points uh, these ones we will going to talk only in fury because they are not used anymore bridges and hubs uh, and Anyway, these are old ones, legacy ones, which were replaced by switches. <laughs> the, the next ones are routers and firewalls. And again, you can see um, how they look like in, uh, on the logical diagram and how they look like in uh, real life. It's a little bit <laughs> tricky. To, to make the difference between them in real life unless you are you know exactly the model that you're looking at um, but we will gonna get to that one later uh, the medium of uh, transmission for a network um, most probably you are familiar with wireless transmissions that it's via thin air nothing else but air and via cables um, the medium transmission of uh, thin air uh, it's very simple uh, when you're um, connecting your um, smartphone or your tablet or your laptop to a Wi-Fi network and the cables the cables are a lot of them like for example you can have copper cables or you can have fiber optic cables uh, to discuss first we can talk about uh, copper cables so you know like for for example for the net for the um, copper cables we can have coaxial cables uh, which are like very similar to those ones which are going back in your tv uh, twisted pairs like this one over here and the serial cables let's talk about the the coaxial cables not so long time ago you know like uh, people uh, used modems and coaxial cables to connect to the internet the pc connected to a cable modem um, was using an uh, ethernet cable which was an ethernet cable just like uh, this one here 
which was uh, connecting your um, PC. One end was connecting to the PC and the other end was connecting to the modem. From the modem, you had um, uh, a cable like this, one end like this, uh, which was connecting to your modem and the other end was connecting to the wall, uh, wall outlet um, in your home. And th this is how you got an internet connection at that time. If you want to see more details, for example, you can go on this link here. Over here in this link, you can um, you can see the modem type, like you know, like for for example, if we are posing uh, here, here is um, uh, one end which was getting from your uh, wall outlet to your modem using the connection via the coaxial cable, and over here you had an Ethernet cable which was going to your PC. Moving further. If um, right now, right now, most most of the times you're gonna have something like this. You're gonna have a twisted pair cable uh, going to your um, Wi-Fi router, uh, which most of the times it's uh, provided by the um, ISP. And these ones are twisted pair cables, shielded or unshielded. The first, the first question you might ask, you know, like why they are twisted? Well, they are twisted so the electricity will flow much better and uh, will have less interfe interference from outside. If you're gonna go to this website, by the way, all the links are provided into the description down below, so you can uh, check it at any time same links and over here you'll see more details about the technical differences between cat5 cat5e cat6 uh, the megahertz the speeds and so on uh, over here you can see how the cables are twisted this one is the unshielded twisted pair and this one the shielded is the shielded twisted pair over here you can see differences between them so yeah you know like if you want to read uh, these kind of details feel free to get, to go here on this link and read them out now if we are going to the cisco page okay over here we can see the cable specifications we can see how to identify an uh, LG45 rollover cable, what are the differences between them. Um, you, you can see the, the pairs, how they are forming over here. For example, these ones. And basically the rollover, you know, on the other side you have the pairs uh, the the pair is reversed and the cable is reversed. Uh, you're gonna use this type of cable if you want to connect your PC to a um, console port on a router or on a switch or whatever device you have. Going down below we will um, also take a look at um, the the crossover cable, this one. And a, okay, and over here we can um, we we can see that uh, the cables are made with uh, the first pair is um, white, orange, orange, uh, white, green, blue, uh, white, blue, green, white, uh, brown, brown, and brown. Um, and basically what they did, they, they 
switched or they inversed the, the first two pairs on, on the other end. And you can see here the, the differences, like what you have, and also these ones. And the crossover cable, you're going to use it when you're going to want to connect a switch to a switch uh, or um, a router to a router or a PC to a PC. Basically, these, these type of devices, they, they, they are all the same type. So if you have a, um, a, another PC that you will want to connect with, you're going to have to use a crossover cable. But, for example, if you're going to want to connect to a router. The router it's something like very very similar to a PC. Basically it's a PC but uh, it has lower functionality um, compared to the PC. The PC is more complex, it requires more horsepower, more, more CPU, more RAM uh, to deal with the applications but uh, with, with the router you have a not so advanced operating system it's much simpler you don't have a graphical interface uh, which you're um, running as you're on your PC uh, but for example if you want to connect your laptop to a switch which is a different type of device uh, then you you'll have to use a straight to cable and straight to cables look like this Here you can see them. You can see how, how the pairs are, um, are the same. So we will take a look here. We'll take a look here. You can see that the, pair, the pairs and the, how, how the cables are um, are put over there, they are, they are basically the same. Now, if we are going to the wiki page, we can uh, see the standards. Like uh, over here you have um, TIA um, 568B type. And down below you have um, 68, uh, T568A and uh, T568B. And you can see the, the pins uh, and the pairs which are like reversed. Like for example, here you have, as we talked, uh, here you have um, um, white, green, with green, white orange with with uh, blue, white blue with orange, white brown and brown. And for example, if <clears throat> you're gonna have at one end uh, T uh, five hundred sixty eight A, you're gonna have and at the end at the other end you're gonna have a T five hundred sixty eight B. That means you're gonna have a straight to cable. If you're gonna have Uh, sorry, a crossover. If you're gonna have at one end this type and at the ad, at the other end uh, the same type, then you're gonna have a straight through. If at this end you're gonna have this type and at the other end the colors will gonna be reversed, like the first wire will gonna be uh, brown, then white brown, then uh, orange, then uh, white blue, over here blue, white, orange, green, and uh, white, green, then it means that you're going to have a rollover cable. Speaking again about uh, serial cables. Uh, serial cables most of the times are used to connect to routers. And to connect routers for the wide area network. And over here, 
we can find more information about the serial cable connection guide. And as you can see, you're gonna learn the differences between the DTE or DC, uh, what you can connect with them, male or female, the Cisco series cables. The, these are the connectors, how they look like, what is the standard. But if you want a much better explanation, I would advise you to go on uh, this site. And over, see, over here, you're gonna see also this picture from where I got it, actually. <laughs> So go and check it out. Okay, now moving on to the fiber optic cables. The fiber cables, uh, man, these are fast. Instead of uh, using uh, electrical signal, uh, they are using light uh, or um, uh, they are using light. So for this, uh, for short distances, most of them they are using um, uh, LEDs uh, and um, for longer distances like uh, hundreds of miles uh, they are using laser. And right, right now we have like for fiber optic cables we have uh, these two. Uh, which are which are the multi-mode fiber cable and the single-mode fiber cable. The, now, what, what, what is the difference between the multi-mode fiber cable and the single-mode fiber cable? Well, the multi-mode fiber cable offers more bandwidth at high speeds uh, over short to medium distances. Um, the light beams uh, are sent uh, in different modes. And what I mean by this is the fact that th this is your like fiber optic cable. Over here you have um, so Let's make it, let's explain the multi-mode fiber first. So what means that the light beams are sent in different modes? Like for example, this is the cable, this is the, the core of the fiber optic cable, and the beams can be sent like this, or like this, or uh, like this. They, they can cross each other at some points you know, and so on, until, uh, until they are reaching the end, the other end. The problem when you're using a multi-mode fiber cable um, over longer distances, more than um, 900 meters or more than uh, 3,000 feet, um, multiple paths of beams or of light, they can cause distortion. At the, other, at the other end, uh, which give, gives you an um, unclear and incomplete data transmission. Uh, on the other hand, uh, single mode fiber single mode fiber you uh, uses like linear beams. They they are using the, the, the beams of light, they look like this. The core, the core um, of the fiber optic cable, it's uh, much smaller. It's not that big as um, the, the other one on the um, multi-mode fiber cable. And <coughs> the, the single mode fiber cables, they can travel um, uh, greater distances. Like, um, 
they can travel something like 50 times more than the multi-mode fiber cable can but the problem is that they also cost much more um, the small core and the fact that the beams are sent in uh, this direction you know like they they are going from um, on a linear uh, on a linear direction um, it eliminates the the distortion um, and your your pulses will not going to be overlapped um, um, and over here you can uh, reach out you know like to hundreds of miles you know like you you can go much uh, much longer compared to the multi-mode fiber cable now we have the gbix interface converter uh, over here so um, what are these gbix or um, gigabit interface converter they are like ports that you can put on your switch or your router and plug the uh, fiber cable optic uh, the the fiber um, the fiber optic cable into them uh, the same are for the um, sfps uh, and they are called small form factor pluggable uh, ports okay um, and about uh, Cisco interface converter and uh, SFPs you can find more details um, about them on the Cisco website of course you if you're interested in the theory for the exam you might have some kind of questions uh, from the um, cables and deck types you know but I don't think that you're going to have more than two questions in the exam but yeah then again if you want to read it please feel free to go on these links you know and check it out in the next video we will going to talk um, uh, more about network devices like uh, hubs switches router access points firewalls and um, yeah Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you like the video and uh, talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.